Nominated Member of Parliament Rachel Shabesh sparked the debate when she linked the deaths of Internal Security Minister George Saitoti and his deputy Joshua Orwa Ojode to drug cartels. Mr. Speaker, as I stand here, I have a lot of information, but I can assure you that we have not even said a third of what we know was behind the deaths of our two colleagues, and some of the information we are getting is worrying. In fact, it could, it could be. In, in, in short, Mr. Speaker, I think that can shut down this government. MPs raised allegations that there might have been foul play. There must be a skunk or it must be a skunk. Mr. Speaker, I would ask you to tell the minister not to play with this case and play with fear of Kenyans. Because we are talking of a scenario where six Kenyans have unnecessarily lost their lives. It could have been avoided, Mr. Speaker. But Shabesh was not ready to divulge the details, saying she would only do so before a parliamentary select committee. Transport Minister Amos Kimunya then made an announcement that would have a significant bearing on the investigations into the crash. His Excellency the President, following consultations, has since scaled up the inquiry into a full commission of inquiry in accordance with the Commissions of Inquiry Act, Cap 102, Section 3. This meaning that starting Monday, members of the public will be able to register their concerns before the Commission of Inquiry. But members of Parliament questioned why the government had taken so long to reach the decision, accusing it of frustrating the team probing the crush. This week they asked for a container, a 40-foot container, to be purchased so that they can relocate all the material, all that into a container, seal it, and everybody has a key so that for future investigation, nobody can get into the to interfere. But they refuse by. The decision to scale up the probe to a commission of inquiry came after former internal security minister George Saitoti's family complained about delays in the investigative process. The transport minister, however, cautioned Kenyans against engaging in speculation and urged them to allow the commission of inquiry to fulfill its mandate. Meanwhile, the families of three deceased members of parliament today received 10 million shillings each in life insurance compensation. A local insurance company presented a cheque worth 30 million shillings to the Speaker of the National Assembly, an amount which would be divided equally among the families of Professor George Saitoti, John Mishuki and Joshua Orwa Ojode. The families of Saitoti and Ojode are also set to receive a further 10 million shillings each under the group personal accident cover. Reporting for KTN, I'm Wilkes Tanyabwa.